Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Master Duel video, and I'm here once again with Zenron. Hello, Zenron. everybody. Hello. And we're here to look at, take at, to look at, do a, do the Synchro Festival survey. Um, the reason I wanted to do it is because we had an entire 30 minute video talking about how, hey, this wasn't the greatest, so now I actually want to fill out this survey and see if there's any <laughs> way to improve it for the future. So that's going to be today's video. Um, thank you, thank you for watching and all that good stuff. If you have anything to say, feel free to comment. Do like, you know the thing on YouTube at this point. I don't need to keep saying it. Anyway, let's get into it, huh, Zen? So, here's some actual decent thing. What do you think about the length? It was about right, right? That is fine. So. Yeah. That is fine. Yeah, do you feel you understood the, how to progress along with the reward? Yeah. Yes. I don't know how anyone could be maybe on this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm how are you like maybe? You win duels or you don't. Maybe. That's it. Yeah. Did you enjoy dueling in Synchro Festival? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think about the special rules for Synchro Festivals? They, they... So here's the thing. They were sometimes fun, but it was always when I wasn't fighting at Emancipators or Virtual World. <laughs> yeah, it was only fun when it was like some random shit going on. Yeah, even where it was a Synchro deck who was trying its best, and I was like, this is a fair matchup. Uh, or if it was against another deck who was anti-synchro like I was, who was joining me in my anti-synchro brigade, those were the best decks. But in terms of the actual top synchro decks, they weren't very fun to fight. How were the event duels with loner decks? I didn't actually try any of the loner decks, but it looked like Neither they did I, because why would you? Yeah, They're I didn't useless. use them. They seemed better. They seemed like they were just like on the cusp of just being very good decks. They were like one Ash Blossom away. <laughs> the fact that none of the decks had Ash Blossom was like the killer for me. But or Maxi, either one of them would have been nice. They used other ones. They used Effect Veiler, and they used basically all the other hand traps, but the big ones. <laughs> they used anti hand yeah, traps. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> silly. Were you satisfied with how the rewards were balanced? Ah. Uh... Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. I'll put it around here. I did like that there was just a good bomb of 300s or so, so it was actually nice. And actually, if you pay close enough attention, if you did all the missions like kind of like at a like a leisurely pace, like waited for the next batch of batch of them to come out, by the time you hit the point where you would stop getting um uh, diamond, is it called diamonds in here? I forget what they're called. Uh, gems. Gems. By the time you hit the point where you would be no longer getting gems, is around the point where you would only have two missions left. So I'm only left with 100 gems, and I don't need to go back for those. It's fine. But I was Wait, able to get is it gems? Play. Now, yeah, I, now right? I'm second guessing myself. I think it's gems. Let's go with gems. I play too many games with currencies, and I'm to keep track of all fucking all of them. It's the gotcha <laughs> currency. They're dragon stones. There you go. How many dragon stones did it take? <laughs> What do you think of the feature that allowed players to duel with the event exclusive Forbidden Limited uh, in duel rooms before the event began? Actually, the, oh wait, you were able to do it before the event began? I, didn't, I didn't know that, but I, didn't, I, didn't I did know. not know that. Yeah, but neat, I guess. I did, I did not know about this feature. I wish there was another option that says, I did not know about this feature, but it sounded <laughs> cool. But I would have liked it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I definitely would have if I had known that one. That seems that's a good idea. I'd like that they, <laughs> the, that first festival where we didn't know the band list until the day of really sucked. So now that they were getting it super in advance, and now we can actually have kind of a way to test out decks is kind of nice. Uh, would you say that you are satisfied or dissatisfied with the overall experience? I would say dissatisfied, because in general yes. this was a synchro festival in which it felt like the vast majority of people just didn't want a synchro summon at all. Like, nobody. And then the people who did were insane because they had the full... You Basically, the only people who had fun in this, I'm going to say, were people who already had an Emancipator decks because they were untouched. They were 100% yeah. untouched in mm -hmm. any way. <laughs> Which, what the fuck, right? Like That's insane. Yeah, because Eman Emancipators are already really good in the base like um ladder so to just take them over and give them zero changes is insane to me at least with virtual world they use link monsters right they use some right well at emancipators at like peak performance does too mm -hmm. but like it doesn't matter <laughs> like you don't need yeah. them for the deck to work if this 
without their peak performance, they were still able to play like five monsters in a single turn. So yep, and summon like multiple negates on the field. One of them, one time, I fought against a guy who had three negates. God, that sounds like. That's the problem with synchroing is that all synchroing is is summoning 140 times until you have a bunch of negates. Yeah. Like. And the, and, and the bigger issue with uh, Ed Emancipators is that they had an extremely easy way to get into their negate. Because their negate was a level 4 monster that they could special summon. Oh. <laughs> so it was like, oh. great. I can't Awful. even Nibiru you. <laughs> There's no point in doing any of this. Uh, tell us what you think about the Synchro Festival you may select. I love duels that make us use different rules. I, tell us what you think about Synchro Festival you may... I, in theory, like this. I don't feel like this specific festival, actually. I love duels that make us use different rules and regulations. I'm just going to give a yeah in general. I love <laughs> battling it out with strong yes. players. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Define strong. <laughs> Define how strong are we yeah. talking here? I, I'm going to say no on that one, because I feel like that one just means like a meta deck. Yeah. In terms of meta synchro, no. I don't really, personally. I play because I want to earn reward. Yes. I enjoy dueling with loner decks. Can you use it? The loner decks are hard to use, slash I don't know how to win with them. I actually don't think that's true. I think if I actually use one of the loner decks, I probably could figure out how to win with it, because it's just Stardust and one of them had the brand new uh, Negate that I'm really annoyed with seeing already. The new Synchro one. <laughs> what is it? The Fleur? The sh Chevalier? Uh, Baron de Fleur. Baron yeah. de Fleur, who I'm already sick and tired of seeing. And it's not just because I wasn't able to pull them in my fucking pack. <laughs> it's it's totally not that reason. Um, I don't know how to build a deck that will help me win. That's not true. I know how to build a deck that can help me win. I don't have the gems. <laughs> I don't have the gems for it. But I certainly have certainly know how to do it. I can't get the card. Okay, yes. That one I can actually say. I'm going to slap another on here too. Even though there's no way for me to enter another. If you have any kinds of events or special rules you would like to play with in the future, feel free to let us know in more or less. Duels with monsters that you can put in your extra deck. I want a, I want one where, where it's no cards in the extra deck. I feel like we're almost there. <laughs> we're I almost... want just shit. I want yes. nothing. I want nothing. True Draco only. True. At that point, they'd have to ban every single True Draco card. <laughs> if there was... Uh, if that was so... But yeah, I'm kind of feel like, or maybe at least fusions, but only ones that can be summoned with base form polymerization. <laughs> You'd have to ban every single good fusion card, so it would also be the death of elemental heroes because I think over half their cards are fusion cards. Uh, You'd... way over half their cards are fusion cards. Easily, all their good monsters are fusion cards. They are. Uh, I'll put a click on that. Duels where players may only use monsters of the specified type or attribute. I kind of want to see what that would be like, even though I'm pretty sure most people just play Thunder Dragons. Because all Thunder Dragon decks are just Thunders. Oh, actually, you could also do Spellcast. Eh, there's a lot of dragons, stuff like that. Duels where the numbers of each card with the same name you can put in your deck differ from standard restrictions. Yeah, sure. 100 Dream Clowns. Every single deck has to use 100 dream clouds <laughs> duels where the cards you can put in your deck depend on their rarities yeah i like the ends i think the end slash r festival might actually be the best festival on here because it was so oh many it's by far that was the best one yeah that was a lot of fun uh, it wasn't just because i ran through draco and destroyed everyone i actually just enjoyed seeing other people's <laughs> decks well it's because it was like nothing else there was none of like uh the super broken meta stuff, right? Because like limiting it to synchros doesn't really take the obvious meta decks out. Like it takes out some, but like we have synchro meta decks, just like we have Xyz meta decks. So like limiting them only helps so much. But when you cut it to N and R only, that cuts out so many of like all the bullshit staples. No Ash Blossom, no Nibiru. It's like damn, the shit slams. Like. Th we that should be, in my opinion, a, a mode that you can play at all times. Yeah, I agree with that. You know what we need? This would be probably the funniest one, just because no one would be prepared for it but the big whales. The all you are festival, where you could only the, use... The only you are. <laughs> the only you are. <laughs> you can only use you are cards. Finally, a format in which heroes is actually extremely good. Only yeah, when heroes are. is actually useful. 
Because funny enough, there are some decks that do require a lot of the lower rarity cards, but the idea of running a deck that only has URs would actually be kind of tough, <laughs> because there are certain uh, cards that just uh, you need to f get the big URs out and you can't do it without them in there. Like, uh, for example, the Draglubion is a, an R card and he's able to get out big UR ones. But without Draglubion, it makes it a little bit harder. But anyway. Duels where you can uh, use specific cards that fit a certain criteria. I don't know what this means, but sure. Duels with special rules that focus on certain monster types and or attributes. I think our, this is the same as the one previously. They can only use monsters. They'll focus on certain <laughs> monsters. So I, think, I assume it's like a it's like a warrior only festival or like dark only. Oh, okay. This could be mm, yeah. I forgot Speci mm, monsters, special types, and their attributes. I run. A, I work in a company that focuses on surveys, and I, we get questions like this. So I'm just looking at this going like, y'all motherfuckers. And now I'm getting flashbacks to work going like, why didn't you wear this better? <laughs> this is confusing for what it is, but what fun. Theme duels that match uh, with what certain cards appeared in the manga. Hey, yes, we need this. <laughs> we need we need to return to theme dueling. We need to go lore accurate at all points. I need them to <laughs> Kaiba Kaiba versus Joey duels. Yeah, we need to go there. Basically, what I want them to do is I want them to say like you have to follow. You have to build a specific Kaiba deck, and then I want Rhyme to give him their blue eyes deck, and then for them to reject it and go Kaiba would never use any of these cards. <laughs> Remove them. Where's your <laughs> Where's your Soggy the Dark Clown? <laughs> where's your Where's your honor? Your Your deck devastation virus. Your X Y Z Dragon Cannon. Where's your <laughs> Where's the cards? Where's these cards? That's what I want. I want that focus on lore accuracy <laughs> to the point where you can't actually run good cards because they never used them. Fast paced duels where the time for each turn is reduced. Wow, what? I don't remember this being an option. That sounds great because that was the, also the killer thing here is that Ad Emancipators take forever to finish their turn. Yeah, they sure do. This is true with them on the ladder. And I'm, from the one Ad Emancipator that I remember seeing, uh, which I believe is Global Penta, everyone's uh, favorite Penta from the global side of Dokkan Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said it's not our fault that the es the excavation animation is like five minutes long for some reason. Yeah, it, that shit is insanely long. Yeah, it's insane. Like do 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 do. Ch -ch -ch -ch. All right, now I play another card to do the same thing again. <laughs> yep, the exact same fucking thing I just did. Let's go. Let's go once again. Duels where okay, and duels where players compete with their win rate. What does that mean? compete with their uh, win rates. Uh, I assume that means like um so if you're like ranking like, ones? Maybe. Maybe it's one of those things of like I have 5 wins, you have 5 wins and then uh if you lose you go back to 0 wins or something like that. No. Or that or maybe hmm. Oh, wait, compete would probably mean like whoever has the higher win rate kind of would win at the overall. Yeah, like like right? uh, like yeah, like it, I, I assume it would be like a big leaderboard at the end, and then the the most rewards would go out to the people that had the highest win rates, which sounds awful because yes. everyone would just cheat. One hundred percent, we would get more of the the auto decks that we already have. So I'm going to click yes because I think that would actually piss off a lot of people. So I'm going to go with that. I like seeing them angry at times. <laughs> Whatever anything happens, and other done. Thank you for taking the time to fill out the survey. Great. I wish there was a way to specifically tell them you need to get a little bit harder on the ban list. Because that's actually my main problem, is that they were just too wishy-washy on the on the specific cards. Like, yeah, the, the ban list for the Synchro Festival was just not it. It was not it. And in case everyone, anyone's wondering, like, I bet he didn't even play. I played plenty. Fuck y'all. I, I did it. I did my due diligence. <laughs> you suffered through more of that shit than I did. Yeah, you're damn right. The only thing... I would probably suffer through this if I had just a little bit more time, but I'm busy with... I'm a busy man. It's my birthday, damn it. I'm not going to be going around <laughs> playing the Synchro Festival. <laughs> playing the shit-ass Synchro Festival. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Look at all these wins. Ignore all the losses along the way. The important parts were the Ws. Uh, I can actually play this replay. I wonder what deck this actually was against now that I look at it, because either this is someone who forfeited immediately, 
or did something else. Because I feel like at near the festival's end is where you'll find the most people willing to forfeit at a dime. I like how you said he's either going to forfeit immediately or do something else as if there's any other option. Oh, he's a black Between those two things. Yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> um... Oh man, if there was ever a thing that made me feel sad about a state of a of an archetype, it was this festival at Black Wings. Because I was like, oh my god, you guys used to be so good when you first released. Like, I remember them from my youth giving me so much trouble, and nowadays, like, look at this. Look at this complete destruction. I didn't even destroy his monsters because I didn't need to. These guys don't even use a synchro board. Summon him, get my boy Lubu. Get the normal Hell summon. yeah, Lubu. He didn't even let me summon my Lubu. <laughs> he was already <laughs> done with me. He wanted nothing to do with it. He wanted nothing to do with it. That's the end of the video. I at least wanted to show off that, I guess. But yeah, this festival is ending. I was able to get most of the things I wanted from it. So I'm perfectly happy with it. I am hoping the next... The one thing that I actually do wish they had done, this Synchro War Ticket shit, this was actually a very specific banner. They give you Synchro cards. I don't think it's actually a very good banner, but the fact that I'm actually missing out on a lot of these makes me kind of be like, uh... That sucks, but I also just don't want to play this festival anymore. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's not worth it. No, 100% not worth it. So I'm done. And that's it for the video as well. Thank you very much, Zen, for uh, sitting down with me to talk shit once again on the Synchro Festival. <laughs> <laughs> as we do. As we do. Um, oh, jeez, I just realized how much more I needed for that. Fuck that now. Anyway. <laughs> That's the end of the video, everyone. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everybody.